Hello everyone, uh, my name is Tim. I'm the Director of Operations out at uh, Lakeview and uh, I'm so excited to be with you today. Uh, one of my favorite things about camp is uh, that you get to see so much of what God has created and uh, the world and the nature he's created around us. And that's something I've really missed in the past month when I've been working from home um, from my house in town in Seymour. And uh, so I wanted to share with you today just a few of the, the pictures I've taken of some of the more unique things that you don't see every day out at camp. Uh, we have a lot of different uh, species of, of animals at camp and some of them are very, very good at hiding themselves from campers. And uh, so uh, there may be a few things here that if you've been to camp, you, you may have not seen before. And I'd like to start with this little guy here. This is called a walking stick. Uh, you may have seen one of these at camp. Um, this one uh, showed up on the screened-in porch uh, one day at the dining hall. Uh, but they mainly hang out in the bushes and the trees. And as you can imagine, uh, they blend in very, very well. Um, these guys uh, mostly eat uh, leaves and, and plants. And uh, they do a good job hiding from predators uh, because birds think they're delicious. But as you can imagine, it'd be very hard for a bird to find one of these guys uh, when he's up in the tree or in a bush and blends in really well with all the other little twigs. Uh, but this guy uh, showed up on the screened-in porch and I uh, was able to get a couple great pictures of him. And uh, next on our list here, I've got a luna moth. Now you might have seen these uh, moths at camp uh, before. Um, they come out at night. You'll see them flying. Uh, these moths, uh, their wings can be up to uh, four inches wide. So they're about the biggest of the moths uh, that we see at camp. Um, you might see them especially over at the villages, flying around the lights at your village cluster, or attaching themselves to the wall of your cabin. Uh, they're attracted to the light at night. But what you may not have seen is one of their big uh, caterpillars. Uh, and here's a picture of uh, one of those uh, that I found in a tree up by the new Welcome Center. Um, when Luna moths lay their eggs, it, on a leaf in a tree and then those caterpillars grow in that tree and they grow by eating the leaves on that tree and a lot of times you'll find them in like oak trees or hickory or persimmon trees and those caterpillars will live their entire life on that one tree and uh, then after they've become fully grown they form a cocoon and uh, a few weeks later they emerge from that cocoon as one of these beautiful luna moths um, Again, in the tree, they're, they're bright green, uh, so they blend in very well uh, with the leaves, and, and they're pretty unique uh, to find these caterpillars in the trees. Uh, thirdly on my list is the tree frog. Um, the tree frog is a, one that you may see, again, around the lights at your, your village or at your, your cabin at night. Uh, tree frogs are attracted to the lights as well, uh, but they are attracted because they eat insects. And since the insects uh, fly around the lights, the tree frogs come and try to get a, a nice uh, fast food meal. And so uh, you'll see this little guy, uh, he, he stuck himself to uh, my window one evening. And uh, if you look at the pads on his toes, they're almost like little suction cups. And it's, it's kind of comical to watch him uh, walking up the glass uh, at, at night. Um, you'll see him around uh, lights again. You might see him on windows. Uh, on your cabin, um, but during the day they go back into the trees and they hang out in the trees. And I found this little guy, he was on another tree up by the, the camp entrance at the Welcome Center there. And as you can see, they, they clasp onto a branch and they pretty much spend their day hiding uh, from predators again, uh, only to come out the next night to search for insects. Uh, they're very hard to see because their undersides are gray or tan, so they, they blend in with the sticks, and then the top sides are green. And so that blends in with the leaves around them. And so while you might see them around the lights trying to grab uh, insects at night, uh, it's, it's pretty rare to see them in a tree. Our, our next uh, animal here is called a fence lizard. Um, now, if you've been around the canteen before, uh, you may have seen uh, skinks. Skinks are another kind of lizard we have at camp, um, and they have uh, yellow lines on them, and the, the younger ones uh, have blue tails, and those are pretty common.
but the fence lizard is is a lot less common to see um, it reminds me a lot more of a lizard you might see in the desert uh, again these little lizards uh, typically hang out on uh, the bark of trees and as you can tell they blend in really well but I found this little guy on uh, on the wood on the screened in porch down at the dining hall I've also seen them on camp along uh, the retaining wall behind Mohegan Lodge and down at the amphitheater um, as you can tell they blend in uh, very well to their surroundings especially when they're on uh, tree bark uh, and they're they're very rare to see I I hardly ever see them when we have a lot of a lot of activity on camp but when it kind of quiets down they'll come out because they like to warm themselves uh, and uh, get in the sunlight um, but he reminds me a lot of a little lizard that you would see uh, kind of in the in the desert southwest but they eat a lot of insects they they eat a lot of spiders um, if they feel uh, threatened they're gonna run around uh, to the next uh, thing they can hide in now a lot of times if you happen to see one on a tree it'll run around to the other side um, and camouflage itself in with the bark the last uh, little animal I wanted to share with you today you may have seen at camp crossing the road and this is a box turtle um, box turtles are especially uh, special at camp because they're a species of concern in Indiana which means it's actually uh, illegal to pick them up and move them um, you're only supposed to move them if you find them like this guy here if you find him crossing the road um, you can move him off the road but you have to move him in the same direction he was traveling and that's because uh, box turtles have a, a very small area that they live in um, they live in basically almost like a circle 200 yards in diameter and that's as far as they'll go in their entire life now a football field is a hundred yards long so a circle twice as big as a football field really is, is not that big of an area um, and they they have a homing uh, mechanism they always want to be back in that area so if you pick them up and move them somewhere else they might walk and walk and walk and walk just trying to find their home again um, now box turtles can live up to 60 years or more and so that that means uh, that some of the box turtles on camp may have been there since camp was founded uh, and the first summer back in 1965 uh, some of those box turtles may still be around on camp and uh, that's a pretty cool thing to think about um, this they like to eat fruits and and leaves and things like that but they also uh, eat insects and uh, even if they come across a dead animal and they're hungry they they may eat on that animal um, so they're omnivores they eat both uh, plants and animals uh, both vegetables and meat um, so this little guy here um, we find him especially when uh, camp is a little quieter this little guy was up on the dining hall porch uh, I think he might have been trying to raid the canteen I can't say for sure um, but uh, he was not being subtle about it for sure well hopefully you saw something today uh, that maybe you hadn't seen at camp before and I encourage you next time you're at camp um, you know a lot of times we're playing games and we're running from here to there but when you're walking down a path in the woods uh, take it slow um, be nice and quiet and look around and you never know what you're gonna see in the trees around you and all of it reminds me of of what an incredible creator our God is uh, thank you guys. I uh, hope you uh, saw something new today and uh, God's blessings on the rest of your day.